Welcome. We've been talking about a lot of growth that relates to exponential logarithm and so on. Uh, I wanted to talk about something that's a little different. This is another form of kind of uh, decay in some sense. Uh, and so what I wanted to do is to talk about the inverse square law. And then we wanted to look at, you know, this is a point light source example where we have some kind of uh, distance from the light source. And then we know that this is how the intensity looks. And then we want to understand if the inverse square law applies. And kind of the trick to this that we're gonna do um, is we're actually gonna plot, so on the bottom, so that's my d, so I'm actually gonna plot uh, one over d squared down here. Um, and then on the other axis, I'm still gonna plot the light intensity from like right there. And then of course, what I need to figure out is if there's a proportional relationship or whether, in other words, like between this one over d squared and this light intensity, or in other words, whether I get a line when I plot these. Okay, and so here I have like uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 120. Um, so we're vaguely supposed to be equally spaced. Okay. Um, and then similarly, so down here, I'm going to have, um, so I have a uh, point, uh, so I have point oh, oh, 0.001, point oh, oh, 0.003, point oh, oh, 0.005, point oh, oh, 0.007, Point oh oh nine, and then point oh one. Okay, and those would be values for one over d squared. I'm just gonna. I want to. I want to shift this just a little bit so that uh, you can see very clearly that this axis is my one over d squared axis. Okay, um, and then where the points end up living is. Uh, so having uh, kind of plotted this before, I'm gonna get. Um, right, because we kind of start with, so what this would be like one over 100, so that's actually like above here, and that's kind of, you know, it, 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 it feels a little funny, but we're actually kind of starting over there, and then that one's going to be the one that's at like height 120. Um, and then another one that's uh, kind of easier is one over uh, 200, so um, it's like one over 400. Um, so that one actually kind of falls over here, and that one's at 54, something like that. Um, the rest of them I'm just going to kind of uh, put in for you because it's a little harder to do them um, off the top of your head. So um, we've got something kind of around here that's going to go, um, wait, so one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there's one that's a little above here. Um, and then there's going to be uh, another one that's kind of like above here, and it's going to be like this. And then I think this one ended up a little um, high, so I have one, two. There should be one that's in between these two, right, that should lie at, oops. Oh, I see, that one's supposed to be, that was why this kind of, um, right, so the one that went there should be at about 30. There we go. It's like these are not forming a line. Um, as they're supposed to, there should be one that's about here. Um, that's going to be at, that's the one that's at 54. Okay. And then if you kind of look at these, right, so we're actually happy here, okay, um, because there is a, report, a proportional relationship. So there... Right, this does look more or less like a line. You know, kind of, you can almost fit this with a line here. Um, so there is a proportional relationship. So there is a proportional relationship. Okay. Uh, between 
write this one over d squared. Um, and the intensity Right. So the inverse square law is, you know, a good fit for the situation. OK, um, so the inverse square law is a good fit. OK. Um, so this is just a, a different cir a circumstance because sometimes there are different, there are a lot of different things that satisfy the inverse square law. So a lot of times you want to kind of figure out like, which function best approximates the situation. Uh, and in this example, this is kind of cool because it's a different law. And so this does work for light. Um, it works for other things too. Um, one of the things to notice that we did here, which is a little bit tricky, is I didn't just plot distance here. I actually plotted one over distance squared and then align uh, that with the light intensity. And I saw that they, I actually was getting a proportional relationship. Um, so this is kind of a nice trick. Um, that actually, this particular example, um, my uh, there's a PhD student, uh, Rebecca Carter, working with me, um, who actually uh, came up with this example. And I saw it, I really liked this trick that she used of plotting uh, one over distance squared versus the light intensity. Um, so instead of trying to do the distance and then trying to see um, that you're getting um, this relationship. Okay, so I hope that made some sense and I will see you in the next lecture.